Hello, hello everyone. This is my third attempt to record this video about how to uh, export data from Spun into the Unity 3D. So let's begin. Let's create a new project in the Unity 3D. Okay, it will be 2D project. Third thing what we need is a package which will help us to generate prefabs. So let's go to the GitHub. Let's download the latest build of this exporter. Also, uh, I have some uh, animation in the spine. Uh, I will copy these projects into the Unity Asset folder. Okay, now let's open one of these projects. Uh, okay, uh, this is a very simple project. It has uh, several types of tree. And just one idle animation. Okay, let's export this data and try to import it into the Unity. Here is the default settings. And here is the correct folder, okay. Okay. What we get here is uh, several textures, JSON file and uh, Atlas file. What we need is uh, click right click on a JSON file and uh, build prefab. Here you can choose a pixel per unit. Let's leave it uh, default 100. Okay, as you see, we have a new prefab in this folder and sprites here and animation folder. Let's drag this to the scene and copy. I have uh, one controller which control which skin to show. Okay, let's set up camera. And let's play. As you see, it's swinging because uh, each object has a generated animator and one default animation. Okay, now let's try to import something else. It will be a snow one, snowman uh, with uh, three different animations. Uh, 
Okay, it doesn't have any another skin, just default one, but it has a three different animation. Hello, this and this. Okay, export data. Okay. Ah, we have a very huge image. I think it's on. No need this. Uh, let's try again. Okay. Goes here. Uh, it's not that folder. Here. Do the same. Uh, spine build prefab generate that's it and voila I change set uh, okay let's hide this and now we have a three animation here we can play and also it has here uh, let's change default animation to idle 2 and make it in the loop and now if we will play this scene we will see how it stays that's it Next time I will show you how to work with animator and how to attach different animation to different events. I think it will be very very interesting. Thanks for watching, goodbye.